Uh, Anthony, let me start with you on this. And you, you've laid out a couple of things. You know, you're going to get rid of bike lanes on Richmond and Adelaide. You would open up King Street, uh, sue Metrolinx for accountability on transit to get them moving faster. But how, how do you, you know, what does this signal to those who use bikes, let's say, when they hear a candidate saying, I'm getting rid of bike lanes? How does this change their lives as, as being commuters in the city? Alex, I'm running for mayor because I believe that the people who broke it are not the people to fix it. And a lot of the ideas that we are hearing from the regular political candidates, the city councillors, these are not ideas to get Toronto moving. Everybody tells me they are facing headaches with these bike lanes. And I think when we have something like the Ontario Line construction that's shutting down a portion of Queen Street that's obviously going to increase traffic congestion issues. It's a no-brainer that we open up King Street to traffic through traffic in both directions and that those bike lanes that are not actually used that many months of the year, not used by a high volume of vehicles, at least for the duration of the Ontario Line construction on Richmond and Adelaide, we got to remove those. We've got to open them up for vehicular traffic. Everybody says that's causing a headache. And why did it take my announcement to provoke that conversation? Why didn't these councillors who are running for mayor, knowing that this issue was, was coming, they had a couple of years to prepare for it, why did they not do more on this file? That's why it's time for a fresh voice and a fresh perspective. And I did announce that the city of Toronto, if I'm mayor, will sue Metrolinx for a billion dollars for breach of contract and damages over the Eglinton Crosstown LRT. Alex, we all understand that there will be some delays, some cost overruns with government projects. It's inevitable. What we've seen has gone on far too long. And yet all the status quo politicians, they just shrug it off. They take it. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm saying no. It's time to make some noise. It's time to stand up for the taxpayers and residents of Toronto and those poor residents and businesses along Eglinton, because this is a city worth fighting for. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And I hope my, my strong signal sent on the Eglinton Crosstown LRT also sends a strong signal that when it comes to the Ontario line, it's great that we're building it. And I'm going to be a responsible partner with Premier Ford on it. But please, guys, you cannot do the same thing on the Ontario line that you've done with the Eglinton Crosstown. And I will not let that happen.